Hello, welcome back to my channel. So this week we are going to be learning how to wind a bobbin. We're gonna learn how to wind the bobbin on our industrial sewing machine. Now before we start, I'm looking for you guys to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will let you know the next time that I upload and we are going to be getting into sewing soon. So hopefully by next week, we'll have a little project to do and then we will be on our way. When you receive your machine, I always recommend, before you do anything on a machine, look and see what is there. On this machine, there's two holes plus the tension disc. I've seen people miss the tension disc and put the thread the bobbin that way. To thread your bobbin, you're gonna put your thread first through this hole here. Then you're gonna move your thread around the tension and put it between those two discs. And then you're gonna put it through this hole here and pull it. You have to make sure that your thread is not like that. So you're gonna pull your thread. You see that? And I normally just do this. I take the two and I pull it through like that. So this is the bobbin that I received from the manufacturer when I bought the machine. It has it has holes on both sides and they're pretty big holes. I received 10 of them. This is the bobbin that I received with the machine. I received three bobbins like this. And these are smaller gauge bobbins, so be very mindful when you're using bobbins, especially if you have a domestic machine. Try and keep all your parts for your industrial machine separate, okay? Now to wind your bobbin, you're going to take your bobbin and you're gonna push it down because it is fairly hard. It's not gonna just go down easy. And that's with that bobbin. This is from the where I bought it. And this is the bobbin from the manufacturer. You see both bobbins take a little bit of force to put on and to take off. There's a little bit of force that you need with it. So I use this bobbin because I like to put thread inside. Put the thread through the hole. Now I go like this, then I wind my bobbin with that thread and it secures it around, okay? And so now that you have successfully put your thread and did one loop, you just have one more thing and that is to lock this in, okay? And this will continue to wind while you're sewing. So before I cut this off, I don't just snip it. I intentionally give it a little bit of slack by pulling it off your, your thread spool and then you can lift it up and cut it, okay? Now these are very snug. They're snugger than a bug in a rug and so you're gonna put your fingers and pull and there you go. So we've come to the end of another video. Now before we go, I do have some tips for you. Now this is a really nice looking bobbin. The bobbin is nicely wound and look, it's not loose. Nothing's coming off. Now when you put your bobbin in your bobbin case, you see that tension? That's really nice tension. It's not falling down. You have to really pull it to get it to come down, but it's staying, right? And that's the type of tension you want when you're sewing garments. You want it um, enough tension that it's not gonna pull and buck up the fabric. So we'll go over tension next week when I give you guys a project. Subscribe to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That will let you know the next time that I upload. Now, if you did enjoy the program, you can share it with friends and family, whether it be through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, that would be greatly appreciated. I do look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take care.